Hi, my name is Aaron Gustafson, and I am a Principal Accessibility Innovation Strategist running the Accessibility Innovation Grant Program at Microsoft. In this recording, I am going to walk you through a bunch of frequently asked questions about our grant program, and specifically the grant that we currently have open. Our current grant is the Generative AI for Accessibility Grant, and we're looking to receive proposals for projects that use Generative AI to support people with disabilities in accomplishing their goals. This grant round is focused on projects that use generative text, image, audio, and or video capabilities of AI, either directly or indirectly as part of the overall project solution. Key dates for this award round include January 12, 2024, which is the final date for proposals to be submitted, February of 2024, when we will be having our pitch meetings, and March of 2024, when we will be making our awards. The three themes for this current grant funding round include accessibility for all. So this is where you should be considering how can you provide the conditions and or information necessary for people with disabilities who have a diversity of needs to empower themselves. Communication and language. How can you use generative AI to enhance communication and language skills for people with disabilities? And independence and empowerment. How can you design a solution that is both accessible for people with disabilities and affordable to a global audience. Who should apply? This grant program is a call to action for developers, NGOs, academics, researchers, and inventors to accelerate their work by and with people with disabilities. This is a global program. Grant applications from all countries in the world are eligible, and anyone can apply for the grant, whether you're a person with a disability or not. What kind of projects can apply? We welcome applications related to the following primary disability segments, vision, hearing, mobility, speech, neurodiversity, pan-diversity, and mental health. Can you walk us through the application process? First of all, each application is received and reviewed by an initial evaluation team of at least two program staff. Then we take about the top 10 applications and invite them to pitch us. Those pitch meetings are 45 minutes long and consist of a 15 minute pitch followed by 30 minutes of questions and answers. Each pitch is then evaluated by the full grant program team and the top pitches are offered grant awards. How are the applications evaluated? Grant applications are reviewed by Microsoft employees who are directly involved in the grant selection process for the sole purpose of proposal review and determining the grant level to be provided. Applications are evaluated on the following criteria. Is this something that is actually relevant to the target disability segment? What will the overall impact of this project be? How many people's lives will it change and in what capacity? What sort of data are you gathering? How are you gathering it? And how will it be used? How feasible is it that you will be able to accomplish your program's goals within the 12-month grant period? Is your team the right team to do this project? Do you have the necessary stakeholders, knowledge, and partnerships in place? What happens when the grant program ends? Will you be able to continue the project or will it suffer from lack of funding? We want to be able to celebrate the work that you do as part of this grant program, so having really compelling stories and demos is key. When will I receive a decision? You should receive a notice about your application within about 90 days of the close of the grant application period. Can we apply if we've received funding from Microsoft before? Yes. If you've had past engagements with Microsoft, specifically on your grant proposal or a directly related project, just provide details about that engagement and the outcome in your application. Include any names of the teams or contacts within Microsoft who were involved in that or present at past discussions with your organization. How much are the grants for? The amount we offer to each project is different, and it varies based on the needs of the project. We don't have a recommendation for how much to ask for, but ask that you be realistic about what it would cost to complete your project. It's also important to consider that the grant period is 12 months, and all work on the project must be completed at the end of the grant period. How are the funds paid? The cash award is given as a lump sum payment once all contracts are signed. Universities typically receive this money as a cash gift with a letter directing it to be specifically applied to the project. 
Azure credits are awarded at the same time. They are distributed in incremental blocks as needed up to the agreed upon total and expire at the end of the grant period of one year. Awardees are solely responsible for any and all applicable taxes related to their grant award. What can the cash be used for? We do have some stipulations around how you can use the cash portion of the grant. It can be used for project development costs such as engineering, data acquisition, and research. It might be able to be used for travel if that travel is necessary for the completion of the project and not excessive, but it cannot be used for organizational overhead like salaries, office expenses, or rent. Does this grant award Azure credits? The grant is typically for a combination of cash and Azure credits. If offered a grant, the amount of each offer will be specific to your application. Azure credits are dispensed in blocks and they expire at the end of the grant period. How do I estimate the Azure budget for my project? To estimate the monetary value of Azure computing resources that you need, use the Azure calculator located at azure.microsoft.com slash pricing slash calculator. Does this grant require equity or IP sharing? No, Microsoft does not take an equity position in your company in exchange for awarding this grant. The grant is made purely to improve the state of accessibility. Businesses receiving a grant through this program will be required to sign a contract outlining the scope of the project and OKRs, but that contract does not include any language stipulating an IP transfer to Microsoft. All IP, including background and foreground, is solely owned by grantees. How will Microsoft handle our sensitive data? Any materials provided to Microsoft as a part of the application process are held in confidence according to all applicable laws. These materials are only reviewed by the grant-making team and will not be shared with anyone else inside or outside of Microsoft. Please do not disclose any proprietary details in your application submission or your pitch meeting. Can you provide feedback on our project proposal? No. We don't have the capacity to evaluate and provide feedback on individual ideas that come to us outside of the application process. Applicants will receive some level of feedback from grant program staff within 90 days of the close of the application period. Do I need to have the entire team identified before applying? No. An application is much stronger with key personnel identified, but you do not need to have your entire team in place in order to apply. Keep in mind that partnerships are also a great way to expand the capacity of your team and fill knowledge gaps. Be sure to list any and all partners with whom you have established a relationship specifically for the purposes of your proposed project. Can we submit multiple ideas? We welcome you to submit as many well-considered project proposals as you like. We do recommend submitting them from different email addresses to avoid confusion in our application system though. As a note, we will not award multiple grants to the same organization, which also includes partners, in a single grant round, so please keep that in mind. Can we make changes to our application? Once your application is submitted, you will not be able to make changes to it. If we reach out to you to arrange a formal pitch, we may ask you to adjust the scope of your project. If there are additional changes you want to make us aware of, that would be a good time to let us know. What is a lead disability organization? The Accessibility Innovation Team wants to support projects that are rooted in disability communities, which can help your project to be successful in those communities. The lead disability organization is usually an experienced organization solving problems in a specific disability segment. If your organization has experience in the disability segment you're trying to provide a solution for, that may be acceptable. Do we need to use Microsoft products? We don't require that you use Microsoft products to run your organization, but we do require the use of Azure for any cloud services used in the development of your project. Use of any non-Azure cloud services is only permitted in very limited circumstances and is evaluated on a case-by-case -case basis. Can we partner with Microsoft? During the grant period, we will connect you with a suitable mentor from within Microsoft. As appropriate, we may opt to connect you with individual product groups within Microsoft as well. But a word of this grant does not guarantee any form of partnership with Microsoft beyond the scope of the grant itself. Do not apply if you're looking for Microsoft to develop or build out your product idea. What if I have other questions? If you have other questions about the awards program or the application process not answered in this FAQ, please email us at ai, the number four, a, q, u, e, s, at microsoft.com. Thank you so much for your time. You can apply today by visiting aka.ms grant.